Hey guys, Caveken here. I needed to change the topic of this video pretty much at the end of the shooting because this little model car thing worked out so well that I decided to push all the other things a little bit more in the background. I was shooting this first before I did the car and the car worked out so well that yeah, I really needed to change something about the title. I hope you enjoy! If you have seen my video about can the K40 laser engrave metal or mark metal, we know that it is pretty good in removing paints of different sorts. And in this case, I don't know if you can see this, but oops, it is even quite good in removing some of the oxide layer that was sitting on this uh, piece of steel here. Now, people ask me, can you also remove rust from steel? And I think they're referring to this videos um, where they use some sort of a laser gun blasting off uh, the rust vaporizing it. Well, these are fiber lasers and uh, I checked on the internet they cost around 10 to 25 thousand dollars So probably our k40 laser can't do anything to rust But in the same time I thought well I, as we can burn off some oxide layers Maybe I should try some coins for people who are maybe collecting coins Then I was watching some videos about model cars and restoring model cars and uh, I thought well Maybe it is an idea, as we have a pretty wide uh, focal length, maybe I can just simply put this in the laser and, well, engrave a rectangular shape on top of it, removing the paint or even the sticker here, and then do the same thing maybe from the sides. Now, that's what I want to try today. Let's start off with the coins. Now I wash this in some hot soapy water and a brush. You can see it did nothing really to the oxid layers. Maybe a little bit here, it looks a little bit more shiny but nothing really to mention. But it really did a good job of removing this residue that was on here. Uh, as you can see there is still, you see that line that was where the laser, well the blackout zone from the laser so, so to speak. And you can see that this is pretty hard to get off, you really have to scrape it off and did a nice job of removing this. So I'm now looking really forward um, to my main experiment of removing the paint of this little model car. Um, and that's what's going to happen right now. Just started the second pass, as there with the sticker was, um, we still have a lot of paint. Uh, sure, I'm wearing two pairs even of safety goggles as I'm operating the machine with the lid open. But this works exceptionally well. Now I should have called this video how to remove paint from model cars because I'm completely blown away. Look at this, this is totally awesome. It really took off all the paint in even in the tiniest little cavities. There is no paint left whatsoever. You can even see this little logo of the car in the front. It really works like a charm. I, uh, well, I could have made a better job inside. Uh, I just crucially put this in there and lasered it off, but um, wow, I mean, this absolutely works. This is completely ready for a new paint job. What I did is I, I first lasered it, uh, I lasered the top, I lasered both sides. Every time I made two passes, engraving mode, and uh, did the same thing underneath like this. And uh, gave, it, gave it a wash with some uh, hot water and uh, it came out like this. It could be a DeLorean as well, it isn't, but... I'm, uh, I'm totally surprised that this works as good as it does. So if you need to remove paint from your model cars, metal model cars of course, uh, use your K40 laser. It works pretty pretty well. <laughs> uh, let's go over to um, the piece of steel. Let's try if we can remove some of this rust. <laughs> Ooh, 
not the most efficient way of removing rust from a piece of steel, but compared to the other side, you can see that it clearly did something. I mean, this was the worst spot here and it removed it quite well. I could have given this a wash with some water and maybe some soap to get rid of the residues, but um, yeah, it worked, but I could have done the same thing probably in a uh, and less than half of the, the time with some steel wool or some uh, some metal brush or, or, or sandpaper. But compared to a very complex shape such as this car, I really must say this really is worth it. I This is absolutely fantastic. I'm still amazed that this works so well. And I really recommend that when you own a K40 laser and you need to remove paint or residue from a, well, a small complex shaped object. The K40 laser is absolutely capable of doing that as long, of course, um, the object is made out of metal. And by the way, how I do adjust the height of the car to the laser, I simply use a $12 Z-head camera tripod. You know, those little Z-shaped things you can adjust in height. And that works pretty well. I first started off by putting a piece of wood underneath um, just to not burn it. And you see it looks like after an atomic explosion. And you have like, you know, the light rays just uh, projected <laughs> the shadow of the car onto or burned it into the wood. Um, but later I just put on two of these steel plates like this, you know, put on the car. And then I can simply adjust the height um, to it. Uh, between the laser and the object. Pretty neat, very simple thing to do and um, not too expensive. Oops, I should screw back in a screw or something to get this back together. Well, that was pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next one. If you like this, please uh, subscribe and uh, ring the bell. Leave me a comment below if you have any results to compare with. It would be pretty interesting um, if this is something that works for everybody. And um, if you are a car modder or model car expert, let me know what you think about this. I hope uh, I see you in the next one. Until then, see ya.